Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Hello, this is Taylor, currently doing the voiceover from Los Angeles. Look, there's a lizard. Hi. But back to New York. You guys know I typically explore Manhattan all my days off because I'm lazy and usually stay close to home, but today I have the absolute pleasure of heading over to Brooklyn to visit one of my friends who lives there. Come along with me. My app, City Mapper, which you should definitely get, by the way, if you live in the city, told me that the fastest way to get to my lunch spot in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, was by taking the M train, which I've never actually taken before. But I loved it because it went above ground and over the river, and I only had to listen to one lackluster subway car performance on the way there, so I call that a win. So cute. Here in Williamsburg, about to see my friend for lunch. I have more and more friends moving to Brooklyn, so. Lunch once again with my lovely friend, Lore. <laughs> and a seriously lovely walk through Domino Park after lunch. It can be so easy for me to just stick to the spots that I know and love in Manhattan because they just have that familiarity, but it was so nice exploring a different part of the city for once and Lore was such a good tour guide. Baby train. That's so cute. <laughs> Ice. Okay. Ice coffee, donuts. A Brooklyn classic. Happiness. <laughs> okay, I know the combination of iced coffee and donuts is not a Brooklyn classic, but that place, the Peter Pan place, that, that is a famous Brooklyn spot. So I think I was just excited to be there. I was just saying random shit. <laughs> and on my way home for a very special event later that night. So you guys have heard me talk about how during crazy days like these, when I'm running around the city or even during long working days, having healthy habits as part of my everyday routine keeps me sane. <laughs> so I'm excited to tell you about how I incorporate the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens, into my everyday morning routine. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a lot more than just a greens powder. It's a nutritional beverage that has me super excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I've started drinking AG1 on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, even before my coffee. And that's saying something. Not only does it give me an excuse to drink more water when I first wake up, I also love its immunity and energy benefits. And how does it taste? Why, you don't think this looks appetizing? I like the taste. It has hints of kiwi and green apple, I would say, and it's a bit less earthy than other nutritional beverages that I've tried, so. As I've started traveling more and coming into contact with more people, I am so happy knowing that AG1 has great ingredients to support my immunity, including vitamin C, zinc, and healing mushrooms. No, not those kind of mushrooms. Along with great energy supporting ingredients as well. Not to mention the convenience, just one scoop or one travel packet of AG1, eight ounces of water every day, that's it. Athletic Greens is giving my lovely community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Just head over to athleticgreens.com slash taylorbell to get started on your order. Thanks again, Athletic Greens, for sponsoring this video. All right, we're doing something a little different tonight. My friend is having a surrealist ball for his birthday. I laugh because it's just the most him thing ever. He's incredibly extra and it's gonna be really fun. Anyway, shower first, because I don't know if you could tell, but this hair needs washing. It's usually at this point that I would kindly ask you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for zero dollars because it helps the channel a lot. <laughs> Thanks. All right, got it for the most part dry and now using this to give it a little more shape. I don't do this very often, but when the occasion calls for a surrealist ball, you make your hair look good. Pretty. Volume. And now to do the part that is Surrealist. <laughs> Before the surrealist part, actually, I have to do an actual face of makeup, so. Where are my products? You should take it as a compliment that I got drunk and made fun of the way you talk. Oh! Focus, Taylor. Okay, so, like I said, this is a surrealist ball, which is as crazy as it sounds. And my friend whose birthday it is, who's hosting the party, gave a mood board for inspiration on things to wear. And of course, with things like that, you don't wait until the last minute because that way you can actually get a decent costume together. And then of course I waited until the last 45 minutes. Wow. So I looked up surrealist inspiration and 
I hope it comes out all right. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'll put up some of the mood board photos here so you can get a better idea of some of the crazy things I'm gonna see tonight, but I'm excited. So anyway, the way I'm gonna achieve a surrealist look is through a certain makeup look I'm gonna do rather than what I'm wearing because I don't have anything that could be construed even remotely as surrealist. Maybe I'll do a little bronzer just to get some tan on my pale face. Lord knows I need it, but you know out of the shot. <laughs> okay, I forgot it's nighttime. I'm gonna do slightly darker eyeshadow. Come on, Taylor, live a little. It's not that much darker, is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Normally I'd be getting ready with music on. So shuffle my 2022 playlist. Shuffle 2022 from Spotify. Hi, Taylor. Ah, <laughs> got my eyeball. <laughs> anyway, it's not as flattering on the camera as it is in real life, I promise. Yeah, sure, Taylor, sure. For something like this, I should be doing glitter, but I'm not gonna, I'm just saying I should. Ah. Okay. Oh, messy behind me. Let me just. Ugh. Slightly better? Not really, it's just all over there now. Whatever, okay. I'm actually on a time crunch. What? I had all day. This is where we're getting a little crazy. Oh, I have an idea. Not only will this improve the quality of the video, but also my ability to pull this off. Extra light, okay. All right, you guys, this is serious. Can I pull it off? We'll see. You don't even know what I'm talking about yet, so you can't really weigh in on the matter. I'm looking at an inspo pic right in front of me. Here goes nothing. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Yeah, you tell yourself that, Taylor. It's fine. It will make more sense shortly. Well, that's cool. They don't do this in the picture, but I'm, I'm doing my own thing now. I'm going freehand. That's cool. See, it's connecting to my eyebrow. Genius. Funny story, this face painting thing is one of the first search results that came up when I typed in surrealist theme into Google Images. So I figured I would see a decent number of other people who also waited till the last minute with this same face painting. To my surprise though, I only saw one other person with it and I walked up to him and said, hey, nice last minute idea, <laughs> wink, wink. To which he replied, bitch, this wasn't last minute. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe it's stupid. I mean, it's not like terrible, right? I'll show you the inspiration pick. Inspo pick. Good enough, right? It's a conversation starter. And now my hair should be looking, should be looking good. Dressed. fit. I've gotten some mileage out of this dress, let me tell you. Okay, I am doing heels with stockings. Don't don't be weird in the comments with the stockings, please. So that's what we got going on. Not bad for 45 minutes before the party. <laughs> and then a short Uber ride to the ball. I took no videos inside, of course, not because we couldn't take them, I just didn't. But here's some photos. And now prepare to hear how my voice sounded the next morning. Hello, happy Sunday. It is almost always a Sunday when I film these New York City vlogs because like I had my fun on Friday slash Saturday and now Sunday is a me day and I can do whatever I want. Only problem is whenever I film these, I feel like I do the same thing. What do I do? I go to one of my favorite coffee shops. I walk on the High Line, get some sun, if there is sun go grocery shopping, you know, just stuff that you do on Sundays. And I'm not saying we're doing anything wildly different today, but at least we will go a different route, find a new coffee shop, because that is one great thing about New York is there are infinite coffee shops, places to work, people to see, things to do. So we're still gonna get coffee. What do you think this is, you know? But at least we'll do it somewhere else. There's this one coffee shop I've walked by probably a dozen times. There are always people working in there. It looks like a good vibe. So we're gonna go give that one a look instead of one of the normal ones that I go to. So spontaneous, I know. Anyway, let's do it. Lonely, lonely Sunday morning. Okay, I have to come back to get my camera. Lately, this view looks a little different than it did a few months ago, if you might recall. Just a little different. Let's 
like I mentioned, I usually go straight to Hudson Yards because there's a Blue Bottle Cafe there. I love the coffee. I love the vibes. It feels good to do something a little different today, I guess. It's not that different. It's sunny. Wear your sunscreen, kids. I've been stuck in bed. Really enjoyed the spot actually. Ended up staying for three and a half hours or so editing. Only downside was the lack of outlets. But I followed that black cord, you see it, you see it there behind me, and found a secret one behind the couch that probably was not intended for customer use, <laughs> but no regrets. And for dinner, I cooked my world famous pesto chicken pasta. And by world famous, I mean that I've made it a few times for myself and I really like it, but I did not stop there. I went out for a lovely nighttime stroll and tried out my friend's electric skateboard. And in this moment, I felt like Casey Neistat, but after watching back the footage, not so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, turtle out. Stay